Good morning. My Bible verse this morning is Psalms 46.1, and I have this on my refrigerator. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And that's the truth. So I thought I'd show you this wig. I got this for 50 cents yesterday at my Denny's, brother's Denny's yard sale. The church had a big yard sale where he goes to church and I got this for 50 cents. And I got a black one too. I always wanted long hair and I did have long hair when I was 16. But as I got older, it went bye-bye. So now my hair is just thin and fine and I wear wigs all the time. But this one is funny. Grandma does all kinds of things. You know, just because you're 90 and a Christian does not mean you can't have fun. You can have fun. You can enjoy life. Get hair in your mouth and all of that. But now I'm going to take this off. And I set it right on top of my wig. There I am. Now I'll straighten up my real hair. And show you what real... I mean, you know, I'm just an ordinary, down-to-earth, little old grandma that primps and loves the Lord and wants to tell you all about Jesus. You know, mainly, I do this to introduce you to my Lord and Savior. And I, yesterday, I was looking at TikTok and Carve TV. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of Christians on TikTok. I saw their sites, and they are doing great. And I really appreciate them because they're getting the word out. Now, where did my pretty bow go? You know I'm always losing things, but that's Grandma. Well, where did you go? Well, I can't find it. Well, here's one I can find. <laughs> I'll wear it like a hat. Now, I need a different color scarf. So we'll just do it this way. I forgot my pearls today. Can you believe that? Grandma was not perfect. Nobody is, but Jesus was perfect, and he lived a perfect life, and we do the best we can with what we got. You know, that's what I say all the time. Do the best you can with what you got. And last night, we was under thunderstorms and tornado watches, possibly. So this is one time, you know, we got a basement now where we live. And so we had bought a, a nice bed from my brother, Denny. He's such a blessing, him and his wife, Pat. And so we bought this nice bed and mat, and we put it in the basement. And guess where we slept last night? It gives you peace of mind to know that if the house disappears, you may still be here. You make preparation. You be ready. And I never could before. I had to go get in the bathtub when they did that, but there was a lot of damage and a lot of bad things happening. It said on the TV this morning that 18 people lost their lives out west. It was a bad one. I don't know what to do without having a necklace on. Can y'all believe that? If I got another scarf or something somewhere, how about purple? That helps my neck. Not It's purple, or is it black? I don't know, let's see how this looks. Well, tell you the truth, I like that better. Because I don't like to look at my, you know, there's that one singer. And he always wears a scarf. And I heard that his wife, Connie, um, she's married to Connie Smith, who was a famous country music singer. And she's had a massive stroke. You know, he fell in love with her when he was young. He said, one day I want to marry her. And you know, the day came. And they got married, and they had many happy years. And she is 17 years older than him. But she's in the serious condition. And I think now she must be about, she's 80-some years old, Connie Smith. You can look her up. And here I am, 90 years old. James buying me a big old hat. That was something, wasn't it? And I just quickly, he's been on YouTube now. I just quickly did a, there's a string, and now I'm a cowgirl. See? You know you can have fun when you're 90. A lot of people think just because you're a Christian you can't have any fun. Well, that's not true. 
I have proved it wrong. And we have our hard times. And we, I mean, we go through struggles and, and sorrow, which I have lost two husbands. And and even when, when you lose your mother, and I'm the mother to four children, and one day I'll be going on to be with Jesus. But, you know, I rejoice to know that they all know the Lord. So, kiddos, I've told you that you can receive Jesus wherever you're at, even on the potty, because he hears you. He is omniscient. omniscient. Oh, well, I can't pronounce it. But anyway, he hears you wherever you're at. So if you just pray that prayer, forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I want to live for you, Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. And we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says so. We all have. So I preach a little bit to you kids because I love you and I want to see you all in heaven. And I'm so glad that TikTok is doing so much stuff about Christian and living for the Lord Jesus, our Savior, that died for us. And you know, that don't look too bad. I can see myself in my iPad. <laughs> you know I'm a primp. The Lord made me that way. Ever since I was a little girl, I wore ribbons in my hair and flowers. And I don't think I'm going to change now. So, that's the way it is. We are who we are. Enjoying life. One day at a time. And sometimes it could be less. You never know when the Lord is going to say, that's it. Well, I'm ready, children. So y'all get ready and go with me. I love you. You're sweet children. And, and I love all of you. I've got people, I recognize their names now that make comments. And do forgive me if I don't answer everyone. But I put the little heart by it. I read them and notice them, but if you take time to answer everyone, I have so many subscribers now. Man, it's amazing what you kids are doing. 68,000 people. Now, a lot of people put up, subscribe, subscribe. Jared King TV's getting so many doing. I'm so pleased that he is him and uh, Spooky Appalachia. And I tell you what, since I've been telling y'all about uh, chit chat with Granny Pat. I have saw her numbers grow, and we're friends. Us grandma and all around grandma. Don't forget her, and most of all, don't forget my friend Andy Sparks, nine sixty seven. Andy, he tells there on one his side how he lost a hundred pounds. He had diabetes, and he managed to lose a hundred pounds and get his diabetes under control. That's nine sixty seven. Andy. He'll come, come and help me with my iPad. Y'all have a blessed day. I love you. Walk that walk where Jesus Christ will be pleased with you. Bye-bye.